living without restriction. Hey guys, welcome to this day 287 of 366, where I am reading a one passage a day for a year and a day from the Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday. And then I'm giving you my two cents. Uh, March 11th, living without restriction. The unrestricted person who has in hand what they will in all events is free. But anyone who can be restricted, coerced, or pushed into something against what they will is a slave. That's from Epictetus in Discourses. Take a look at the, some of the most powerful, rich, and famous people in the world. Now ignore the trappings of their success and what they're able to buy. Look instead at what they're forced to trade in return. Look at what success has cost them. Mostly, freedom. Their work demands they wear a suit. Their success depends on attending certain parties, kissing up to certain people they don't like. It will require, inevitably, realizing they are unable to say what they actually think. Worse, it demands that they become a different type of person or do bad things. Mm, I don't know if I necessarily agree with that line. Sure, it might pay well, but they haven't truly examined the transaction. As Seneca put it, Slavery resides under marble and gold. Too many successful people are prisoners in jails of their own making. Is that what you want? Is that what you're working hard toward? Let's hope not. Uh, I talked about somewhat recently. I'm going to leave that open because I'm going to go back to the line. I talked somewhat recently about, uh, you know, everything has a price to pay for what it is. But, and not just, uh, you know, you have to sacrifice some things, especially if you want to get to the the highest peaks of a, a certain arena in life. But um, not only is there a price to pay to get there, but you have to be continually paying a price to remain there. So like, um, if you want a different life, you have to become a different person because most things require a lifestyle. Um, one example is like fitness. So a lot of people will, you know, they're overweight, they go on a diet, let's go on a crash diet, and uh, let's work out really, really hard, and they do that for like three months, and they lose all this weight, and they're looking fit and everything, and but then uh, they stop doing what they did to get there, then they just go back to where they were. So it requires constant maintenance. Once you're there, then you got to stay on top of it. Um, there was a line in here that said... Worse, it demands that they become a different type of person or do bad things. Um, okay, I guess that's worse. If uh, hmm, It doesn't always demand that they become a different type of person. You know, but if you are creating a business, and let's say it does all kinds of good for the world, but to build that business or foundation or whatever it is, you have to be working 100 hours a week and then you have to keep doing it and keep doing it and keep putting in that time and putting in that time and then you sacrifice not necessarily becoming a bad person because you're helping all these other people but that's the price you have to pay to have that impact that you want so i guess just really look at the price that you're paying um the price you have to pay for something up front and then the price you have to pay to continue to maintain that and the sacrifices that you might have to make. You might have to, you know, lose some friends, not spend some time with friends anymore. And you might be afraid to lose them and maybe some family members you won't spend time with anymore to reach a specific goal. If you have, you know, if it's going to require all your time, if you want to be like an Olympian or something like that, you're going to have to not go to as many birthday parties and family events and things like that. It's a very disciplined lifestyle. Um, but don't be afraid to do that. If you have a dream in your heart, I say just just go for it. And the people that are meant to be there, your friends, don't worry about losing friends or contact people because the ones that truly love you and that you're, you know, they're your people, they will still be there. They'll still be there. You might see them a little less, but they will be there and support you. Um, I guess just weigh the pros and cons. And, uh, I guess ponder that, and I'll see you tomorrow.